and about the conclusions, implications for PR practitioners uh, just, uh, just like you are. Um, is anybody going to blow that up full screen? Anyway, this is not an ambiguous title and it uh, hasn't been an ambiguous study at all. Um, what we did was we explored internet usage at our company at Swiss Post and employees' relationships with, uh, with their employer. I have three parts. First, some general information, information about study, discussion and findings and conclusion, learnings, takeaways. So, who is Swiss Post? Swiss Post is the national basic postal service provider in Switzerland with about 50,000 employees working, uh, <clears throat> working in the home market and another, say, seven to 8,000 employees working abroad in more than 20 countries worldwide. We have about 50% of our employees uh, that don't have access to the internet, so that's quite a big share of digitally homeless people uh, or offline employees, I would say. In our intranet we have various dialogue features, social media features like uh, news items that can be freely commented without any censorship, so if an, employee's, uh, an employee posts a comment it appears immediately uh, and there is another feature built in there, it's an understandability rating where you can say understood, so-so, or not understood at all. We also have blogs, we have wikis, we <coughs> do have communities, for, forum style, uh, forum like uh, <coughs> groups, and in that study, we ran a survey, we invited a thousand employees to take part in that survey and more than 20% more than of um, people asked to participate actually participated. <coughs> Six out of ten were male, half of them held a managerial role and I won't bother you with details, with detailed numbers, but overall between 25 and more than 50% of all employees uh, with access to the internet who took part in that study actually used social media features internally. So I'll skip these. And so th those were numbers. One more slide with, with numbers. Internet usage, we had about one third who used the internet for up to 10 minutes, another third up to 30 minutes, and the last third who use it uh, between 30 minutes and don't know how many hours a day. And in order to find out uh, their relationship with the employer, we used 
a well-known tool, the, it's the PR Relationship Values Questionnaire developed by Linda Hahn and um, Jim Grunig, which focuses on six dimensions of a relationship. Um, <coughs> that questionnaire is mainly used in, in an external context, but we applied it uh, to, to an internal context. Um, when getting back to the key question, the longer the better, uh, the question of exploring internet usage and that relationship and um, the hypothesis that the longer employees are using the internet per day, the more they, they, they are engaged online internally, the better their relationship with the company becomes. It became evident to hear that the longer is not always the better. <laughs> Uh, that there must be something else that influences employees' relationship with their employer. And we do have some findings. First of all, we found out that employees who are reading internet news items, they actually have a good relationship with their employer already because they're, they are interested in what's going on at the company. And on the other side, employees who are not reading internet news items, they showed significantly lower scores regarding the quality of their relationship with the employer. And reading internet news items also means that the relationship is evolving, while um, <clears throat> people who are not reading internet, internet news, they are stuck in, in the phase where you would say, I work, you pay money. And on the other hand, people who are interested in what's going on at the company, uh, the, re the relationship evolves towards a mutually beneficial partnership. So, and so I suppose we, we are quite blessed that most of the people uh, like the company and are interested in the well-being of their employer. Actually, out of these 221 participants in the study, their average employee employment duration is 18 years. So I think that's quite long. Regarding participation in internal online dialogue, we can say that people who participate uh, in that internal online dialogue via social media, they score lower on those relationship indicators, so their relationship is less good than the relationship people those who don't um, who don't engage in internal social media. We have lower scores all over. And people who are commenting and rating internet news items, so the interested employees, they don't post a better relationship with their employer. Their <coughs> relationship indicators remain exactly the same compared with those who were not engaging. And for me, that was quite a disappointing uh, learning because when we introduced social media internally at Swiss Post in December 2007, we, maybe we were a bit naive. We wanted to change corporate culture by introducing uh, social media alone. And that study clearly proved that this approach alone um, <clears throat> wasn't the right measure to change corporate culture for better or worse, it's up to you to decide. But engaging in internal dialogue, on the other hand, helps actually uh, to secure the future success of, not of I, I would say, of any organization. Because here you get, on the right hand side, those employees who are not engaging in any sort of internal online dialogue, they score a bit higher than those employees who are engaging uh, via blogs, communities, comments, 
the understandability ratings and the wikis. But that that the <coughs> difference in in their relationship in indicator scores can have quite a, quite a remarkable impact uh, because it's them who share their opinions and um, <coughs> comment on things that are improving organizational effectiveness because by coming up with ideas, by sharing knowledge, by get, providing answers to, uh, to open questions, eventually that will pay off and uh, all of that knowledge will help to secure the future success of the organization because there's, there's an always growing body of internal knowledge around. Now you have to find ways how to access that knowledge via search engines, enterprise content management tools or whatever. I haven't found a solution, uh, the perfect solution to access that knowledge uh, yet, but I will let you know if I find it. So, our conclusion is, it's not the longer the better, but the more internal dialogue the better, because eventually it will pay off for any organization. Um, however, from a communication standpoint, uh, we have to say, it, we have to look at the bigger picture because these results clearly show that, um, that the internal dialogue is closely tied to, uh, tied to strategic management question and that sharing knowledge can, can indeed help to secure the long-term uh, survival of, it, of an organization. And for us at SwissPost, um, thinking of those 50% of the employees, more than 25,000 people, who don't have access to the internet right now, if we find a way uh, to enable them to contribute uh, to that internal body of knowledge, to, to those internal discussions uh, as well, that gain of knowledge w would be dramatically higher. But we have to rebuild our internet from scratch. And some key learnings for us that we truly have a business case for social media However, we as communicators, we will need to, to learn a new language. Um, we, we need to speak business lingo in order to be heard by the members of the C-suite. And <coughs> that strictly bottom-up approach by introducing social media and hope that corporate culture will change by itself um, won't work. However, uh, we think that uh, introducing internal social media can eventually convince senior managers to listen, to have a look at what's, uh, what's going on in, uh, in terms of dialogue. And it's a, I think it's also a question about uh, generation. Uh, today's lead leadership generation at Swiss Post is maybe rather prudent in terms of uh, <coughs> internal dialogue, but one day uh, these people will retire and uh, a new generation of uh, corporate leaders will come in. So, after all, I, th I think what you need is a lot of enthusiasm to introduce social media internally. Uh, don't expect that social media by itself will change corporate culture and the way you do business at your company. Um, be patient. You won't change uh, the way people work and the way people exchange their opinions from, from one, one day to another. But eventually I would I, I, I would assume that um, senior management will become supportive of that exchange of opinions 
and we at Swiss Post, we, it, it took us more than four years for the CEO to finally start his own blog, but uh, about a month ago he finally started blogging and engaging in, in a lively dialogue with, with, with employees, which, which I think is mutually beneficial. Um, maybe doesn't help in increasing uh, that internal body of knowledge, but it certainly increases employees' attitude towards their employer.